to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and today I am speaking with Karen Kelly, who's a photographer, family and wedding photographer based in Boston. And you know what? Karen is going to be actually speaking at Inspire, and I was so thrilled to know that she is going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is branding and business, and she's putting it together. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. Um, I'm going to jump in, Karen. I know you've, you've been uh, a photographer for a number of years. You said you moved from New Jersey to Boston and you started photography. How did you even consider branding your business? Well, it wasn't something that happened overnight. Um, you know, right. it, it, you know, when you get into something like this, it's, you know, I loved photography and the art and that was really fun. But what I found over time, the more I photographed people and the business just sort of grew organically, word of mouth, the more time I spent photographing people and seeing the joy that it brings to them, the more I wanted to turn my hobby into a business. Um, because for me, that's what lit me up and that's what made me think, I could do this forever. And so for me, it really became, you know, after a couple of years of really kind of just thinking and mulling over like, you know, why do I love this and what keeps me going? I realized it was all about the people. And so for me, I just, you know, as you kind of, kind of really sort of um, narrow the scope of, you know, your why. And I think that's really big in branding is why are you doing this? Um, and then the second thing that's really big in branding and smart for any business to really survive is you have to solve a consumer problem of why. And so of, of, um, of uh, you know, what, what can you do for them? So, right, there's got to be a problem that you're solving. And so um, for me, it became, well, I love the people that I work with. I want to see them over and over again. And they want someone that they can continually work with over and over again, who makes beautiful photographs, but also someone who they really enjoy being around, you know? Absolutely. Um, we're so much more than our pictures. So that's kind of how it all came together for me. Indeed, one of the things I started to, to tell you before we started recording is that you have a, a wonderful uh, introduction video, you know, to t t you. that talks a little bit about who you are and what is it that you, you do for your clients. And I love the idea of, of being a photographer for life. You you are their photographer for their life. I mean, that's phenomenal, right? I know. It makes me so happy. Yes, <laughs> really absolutely. Does, yeah. You know? uh, and, I, and, and I think it reassures them that, you know, you're not just there for the wedding and you're going to disappear. You're going to be there, you know, when they have kids, when Completely. they have perhaps grandkids too. Who knows, right? I mean, it all, it all comes together really well. Um, but... Let me ask you this though: When it comes to branding, how do you, how 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 did you arrive, or why how did you make this conscious conscious decision on branding in this manner? Well, someone once said, I can't remember where I heard this, but in order to be successful, you need to find the intersection of something you love, mm -hmm. something you're good at, and something people need. And so, really. For me, assuming you know you're you're a good photographer, you've got solid skills. I love people. I love psychology. That's what my background is in. I was a psychology major in college. I worked in advertising in New York for a bunch of years before I arrived at this profession, and it really gave me such an awesome background to understanding the consumer and really honing in on who is your target and why are they your target. Um, so for me, kind of bringing all my background in and thinking about, okay, I, I love this, I love the art, I love the people, um, and I want to solve this problem, that's kind of where it came from. And for life isn't just about, oh, I'll be there for you for the next 20 years. It's also about for life, I'm capturing your life, right? This is, I want it to be organic and I want it to be really natural and I want it to be something that you wouldn't remember. 20 years from now, five years from now. Um, you know, when I think back to my family photographs that we had taken growing up, and you know, we went into a studio because that's what you did then. That's right. And, um, you know, Olin Mills. And so when I look at those pictures, I'm really glad that my parents did them and that they printed them because that's a whole other issue facing this generation is getting them out of the computer. But on the other hand as well, um, you know, I could tell that you know, my brother's three inches taller than me and I had a really bad haircut and, you know, that kind of thing. But I couldn't tell anything else about our dynamic or what we like to do then or what our personalities were like or, you know, how, how we interacted with each other. 
And so for me, that became a really big, a really important part of my brand and my work. Um, that's something that I really wanted to focus on. So for life is about, you know, really capturing honest moments as well as the relationship, as well as realizing, hey, I'm dedicating my life. I mean, this is what I'm going to spend most of my time doing for the next 20 or 30 years. So while I'm capturing their life, they're really shaping mine too. Oh, uh, beautiful. You, you can't really, you know, they, they intersect and you can't sort of untangle them. So, which is, which is great. I, I love my clients. So oh, yeah. that's really what it's about. I love, I love your why. I mean, really, you <laughs> sold me right off the bat. Um, you're going to be speaking at Inspire. Now, Inspire Photo Retreats is in, uh, going to be in uh, Newport, Rhode Island this year. And it's your first time. It's the first time that you're going to be, I'm going very to be attending excited. and yeah. you're also going to be speaking at the same yeah. time. How did that come about? How did you, how did you make, how did you make that happen? I really love, uh, number one, passing along education and number two, community. So community has been a really big focus of mine um, ever since I really kind of got my footing in the photography industry. Um, I'm one of the founders of a Facebook group called the Boston Speakeasy where, you know, the goal was really to create a group that is safe and warm and a place where you can go if you're just starting off or if you have years under your belt to ask questions, interact and not be afraid, you know, kind of the old regime of photography where, you know, you might get shot down or made, made to feel a little bit, you know, silly for asking a question, right. really create an open, warm place. And so Inspire just naturally drew me in because they are so focused on community and helping and really opening up to each other. So when I became familiar with it, I just thought, man, this would be such a great match you know I feel like I love branding I know a lot about it and there's this retreat that's that's really in line with what I believe in so awesome. that's that's why I went for it you are to your topic is how to brand your business for success and um, one of the things I'm also amazed, amazed at is that this is your first pitch to inspire and it was accepted how did you craft your proposal do you mind sharing some of your secrets on that Sure. Um, really what I thought about was all the struggles I went through as I was trying to pull together this brand. I think there's a lot of, you know, for me, you don't, you find a lot of photographers who, you know, you go on their website and there's a drop down list of 20 different categories and they're sort of like, you know, master of none. So, or at least that's how it feels. So um, for me, you know, I felt like people kept telling me to specialize, right? You have to be just newborn, or you have to be just family, you have to be just wedding. And it really frustrated me um, because I felt like, but I love the people and I love all of those things. So how can I specialize while not excluding any of these three or four categories that I really love? And so what I realized was, well, I can specialize in family history, right? Because that's what I'm doing, right? Start to finish. Wedding, babies, families, grandkids, grandparents. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. So Absolutely love just it. kind of turning it on its head a little bit yep. and thinking about things from a different perspective. Fantastic. Wow, that's great. Um, Karen, you're going to be speaking at Inspire. Uh, I, whoever's listening to this, should, uh, if you are moved by this, as I am, clearly, you should come and listen to her. Um, it's going to be an honor to, to finally meet you and to Thank listen and learn from you as well. Uh, thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This was fun.